How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Enrique ZTV, and today we are watching episode 10 of Iron Blooded Orphans with Human Debris. Now, we do know that Human Debris is the group of kids, people, teenagers that are kind of all fall under Akihiro's, I guess, clan. Um, it's all kind of a specific type of person that was essentially like. It's, yeah, like slaves, basically, but, um, more so in the sense that they were left over from raids, people would take them from there, and then that's how it would go. Uh, and Akihiro is obviously shedding his, you know, shedding all of that as he has become kind of a important fighter in this, the mobile suits to help out, uh, Mika, so he's kind of this new person, you know, and, uh, I was absolutely terrified last episode when I thought we were losing him and um, Takika right and and I, I I was so worried because we got the backstories of both of them we got kind of what's gone in gone gone in their life and what's happened with them so I was really worried but uh, Mika that boy that boy saves people what he needs to he comes up so clutch every time I don't I don't even know why I was worried but I'm, I'm very excited because now maybe we're going to see more fighting from him, see kind of how he's developed over this training period, and uh, and hope for the best. So let's hop in the episode. He's taking damage though. Yuji, come on. That's true. This is tough. This is a tough situation for them. Oh shit. Alright. Is that us? Oh no, 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 no. You. That's my guy. <laughs> my boy. Mika's like, I'm here. I did it. Oh. They were out there just like... Tr like, not training, but I guess like a normal pilot. Oh, he's in there. Ooh. That's fucking cool. Let's go. <laughs> the meteor from hell. Mikazuki. Coming through and saving the goddamn day. Killing another person, I think. Oh. Who the fuck is that? Who are these people, actually? That's the one thing we don't know, right? Yeah, he's super dead. I don't think we know exactly who these guys are from. Because I think I was saying that they might be enemies of Tewaz now. Listen, if, if all three of you couldn't do something... I mean, Akihiro is... We was worried, but um, now with Mika, I mean, you guys, you guys got, got no chance. Dude, dude is absolutely careening somewhere else. He's like, oh, we'll grab him later. It's fine. Literally, oh, fucked up. <laughs> we can. It's all right. Mika will take care of this real quick. Light work for my boy. That's cool. He's starting to feel real connected to it. Oh, it's, that's fire. Bro's gonna fucking throw a grenade at him. Damn! Smoke grenade. Interesting. Nah, I don't think so, buddy. He knows. Ooh! <laughs> what a touch! Bro said, eyes closed. He said, I got you. Bro sent him out into space, knocked the shit out of him. Oh. Wait a minute. That's... That's interesting. So does that mean... Ooh, who are these guys? Oh, shit. We got backup. Fuck. Mika needs to go the other way. He needs to go back and help Akihiro. Let the, the other guys don't seem to be as good. Potential. Ooh, no, he already did. He's already fucking all over it. Mikazuki's gonna tear your ass apart. You look different. You look like you might have a... What do you call it? A special... Ooh, he tried to do it. Ooh, oh, watch the hammer, bro. I was gonna say, yeah, you got, you got a name and shit. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I don't know about that, though, my man. Bro, bro I don't know. Ooh, no! Oh! 
if Takaki dies, I'll be so oh. Take the hostage. No, dude. Oh. oh, no, I was so worried about it last episode. I didn't even think about it this episode. Wait a minute. Did I hear that right? Oh, isn't that his brother? Yo, I saw Masa here. I was like, wait a minute. What the fuck? Bro, that shit's crazy. I didn't think we were going to get the backstory for this. Oh, no, 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 don't do it. Oh, shit. Stop, 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 stop. Everybody stop. Yeah, take Taka Takaki, but stop. No, this shit sucks. Oh, no, this is super ass. Oh, he's trying to use the, the sword that's not working. Or just fighting against this thing. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I don't know who you are, but you got you got Akihiro's brother, bro. Get the sh get the fuck out. No, no, we need him, bro. We need our boy back. Come on, he don't he shouldn't be with these fucking probably pirates because they mentioned that last episode. I think it's pirates. Thanks, Laughter. We love you. Our blonde queen, our second blonde queen. Bro, did Takaki really get fucking... Ooh, there's a lot of blood in that helmet. Bro, I was so worried about my boy. They gave him a sweet backstory and everything. I, I had a feeling some shit was going to happen to him. Ooh. Bro got internal damage. He has, like, fucking chest caved in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You gotta start going. You gotta start moving, dude. Yeah. He's got a... He's got a, Ooh, that's so much. She's getting in there, dude. I'm proud of her. Dude, oh my god. This... They're gonna do, like, literally emergency surgery on this boy. He is... He is not well. Fuck. It's stable, though. It's stable now. Let's go. I was really worried we were just he was just out. He's still reeling from leaving from Mikazuki leaving. Oh, Jesus Christ. You guys gonna be kissing the ground when they land. Those guys had to be just random ass pirates, right? Unless they have a name, unless they are specific. Bro, they're just chilling in there, two people? What? <laughs> they're cute little brown boys. <laughs> that, that one, that one kind of looks aggressive. Maybe it's just like an updated version of it. Are you telling me that might be a Gundam? Kabayan. Oh shit. That's crazy. We have more factions being added. Oh man. Alright. Let's see. That dude's fucking atrocious looking. Oh my. Well, at least we survived for the most part, though. At least we're okay. That's the most part. That's the important part. We'll deal with this now, but I mean. We can we can get through it. Yeah, you know, her saying that is true, bro. You kind of do need a doctor. You need somebody there with you that's gonna be able to take care of things. Brewers, okay. Pirates. Yep. There we go. They mentioned it before. I knew we were gonna get some pirates. We had to. I mean, that shit's too cool to not. I mean, I can imagine pirates having a lot of muscle. Wow. They're no match for us. For the whole whole thing. But it is weird. Why are you gonna go out of your way for this? That much if you know they are... It's an equal fight almost. If not like a losing fight for you. Yeah, it sounds complicated. Extra, more people behind it than we know. What, bro? Yo. Yeah, you dead ass shouldn't say that. You, you should get your ass fucking beat for that. That's fucked up. 
That's why Crank should have gone to the other team. Fuck you. You guys don't fight. Thank you for teaching your country like me. Thank you very much. Like, bro is bro's winning the battle of stupid. Just some dumb shit he's gotta listen to. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> fucking relax, dude. That's fucked. You don't need to be thinking like that. Crank didn't want you to think like that. I know he wouldn't. He's a, he was a good guy. Thank you for guarding my son. That's crazy. So this is his... This is his dad. He doesn't seem like he's as excited about it as, uh... Galio is. New duty. I have more things to do. <laughs> He's got a lot of shit to do. He's waiting for Kudila to pull up. So this is Earth, huh? Earth looking crazy. <laughs> this looks like the uh, the clean version of like Cyberpunk 2077. Because Cyberpunk 2077 ain't fucking clean whatsoever. That shit's gross. It's fire, but it's gross. Wait a minute. Is that fucking yacht? Hold on. Maki. Bro. Is this? Oh. No! <laughs> no! Wait a minute, they're supposed to be- They're supposed to be getting married and shit, right? Like... Nah, that shit, I don't like- I don't like that at all. <laughs> what the fuck? That's- that's the worst now. It took me a fucking split second for me to remember that, but like, meh. He's found out where she is. Oh, is he talking about Toto? Or is he talking about somebody else? I don't know who Mustache is. Little fat fuck. Yeah. Oh. So they're part of the reason why the pirates are falling up. No shit, obviously, right? Yeah. That's the problem, though. They keep not paying attention to it. Or at least assuming something will take care of it. Like, they, they're trying to do other things while stuff's happening for Takadan. That's like, they're almost losing it. Losing the point of going after them. Which is good for us, I think. Powerful piece that can shake everything up. Hmm. If he needs it to, but like... How do they want to reshape Galhorn kind of for them? For their own game. They're always trying to do shit for their own game right now. I don't think it's really for the good of everything. He didn't seem happy talking to the other dudes, uh, Izanario. Uh, I don't wanna... Uh, <laughs> oh no, I don't... Oh, this is fucking weird. Bro hates that fucking tea. <laughs> oh, she's getting pissed at herself, huh? She's getting more and more mad that she can't actually do something to help these people, but... She has her role. She has her role. It's fine. Oh. We're getting candy for him. We'll get, I'll find a snack, bro. Yeah. Yeah, my girl Atra's telling her. Say it. Throw all the people in the motherfucking back. Like, she can do stuff. She actually has a very important job, but... <laughs> At the end of the day, she ain't like them. She has not had this life experience. Oh, Masahiro, no, baby. Somebody help, help my boy. Get Masahiro out of that shit. This is why this is called human debris, because he, Masahiro, still is human debris. That's fucking... That's a shame. Yeah, fuck you, bro. That ugly ass motherfucking haircut, goddamn discount Jacksepticeye looking ass, bitch. Yes. Yes, I was talking to the enemy pilot, don't ask why. It's not his fault, the Gundam. It's fine, shit happens, bro. But you shouldn't, you shouldn't want to kill him, you should join him, bro. Like, I'm sorry. That's just not what's gonna happen, bro. I mean, you can't. 
Oh, Masahiro, bro. Or fucking Akahiro. Give, let me give that motherfucker a hug. I'm glad the two boys are here to help him out. That's exactly what I was gonna say. He's like, he needs a hug. He needs the boys. The boys are here. Yeah. He's gotta tell him. Yeah. We got split up. And shit has sucked ever since then. Uh, brother was there. And he's alive and well. Yep. Miko was like, ooh. Sorry, <laughs> don't matter to me. <laughs> oh. Damn, Akahiro. No, don't, you're not, tr you, well, you, yeah, he said was trash, but you never were trash, bro. That shit ain't real. That shit is a, is, is the worst case scenario that happened to you. That should never have happened in the first place. Like, my sweet boy. My sweet, jacked, clever boy. Oh, dude. Orga, man. Orga's the fucking chief of putting the team on his back. Even though it's not the team on his back, it is the weight of the stress on his back. Like, <laughs> Rogue called all the homies, like, we're all friends here. We're all taking things equally. Oh, let's go, dude. The cock is like, guys, shut the fuck up, please. I'm, I'm literally internally bleeding still a little bit. <laughs> we got, we got you candy, bro. <laughs> let's fucking go, dude. Yeah, this is a medical room, bro. He, he's gonna get fucking germs. This is supposed to be sterile, ain't it? <laughs> This is why you need a real doctor, fucking Orga. <laughs> I like kind of the fact that... See, I did say that with the Tewas were going to do something. Like, people that were enemies of them would show up to us eventually. But at the same time... Really quick side note, I love the fact that a lot of these episodes have been ending like this. Like, two people, three people talking or whatever. Space behind them. Fucking dope. Well, first things first, Takaki's okay. Takaki's fine. It's good. I was so worried. I mean, like, you had, like I said, him and Akahiro have these great backstories talking about family. It's a big family episode last time. And for him to just go out that way potentially would have been so disappointing because it's like, then his sister really has nobody. She's got nothing else to look forward to, and he's at least trying to give her the best life. Akahiro just looked back on his his brother like through nostalgic eyes you know and he didn't even think about it he was like that was a time it was it no longer is it will not come back but then him meeting his brother again it's like well there's hope and that is a great and terrible thing because now part of him's gonna think how am i gonna get my brother brother out of this situation but at the same time how am I going to try and talk my brother into being a better person? Because we're fighting him right now. And I don't know why we're fighting him. But I need to learn. He's gonna It's going to eat, eat away at him a little bit. Like a, this kind of was in this episode. Reminding him he was trash, which he never fucking was. And it was cool to see how he is trying to figure out a way to kind of get back there. Maybe try and hash things out with his brother. And hopefully maybe even help the other people, the other kids, that are under these fucking pirates. I forgot their name, but the, oh, um, the Brewers. There we go. I heard, aha! Um, the Brewers, like, if we can get those kids out of there, Takedon will grow, and we'll have more people that know what the fuck they're doing. Unless they somehow have remote access to, like, the mobile suits. They could just try and talk to them and then just switch fucking sides. Either that or even like try and take over that whole base and then you have places to store the fucking mobile suits because you have the place right there. Um, Cause I know Miku will kill fucking every single person that causes a problem. So he'll do it. <laughs> but we, I mean, now we have an extra group we can potentially save and get something out of just because of the fact that 
these kids are doing shit against their will, basically getting fucking putting, getting the fear of God in them just so they can do these things. Um, however, their leaders are making them do it. Uh, it does suck. And this is kind of the whole thing about the show. Um, not just about like the human debris, the slaves and stuff, but also the shitty situations that war brings children into sometimes. And this, this is the worst of it. The children with no, nothing else other than their own friends or even comrade, whatever you want to call it, the people around them, that those are the only people they can kind of be around. So for them, it's like, well, we have to kind of be friends. We have to stick together because nobody else knows the situation we're in. Nobody else relates to it. Overall, I'm just glad that Mikazuka kind of pulled up and Mikazuki was... Overall, I'm just happy Mikazuki was able to pull up and help Akihiro and Takahaki, even though Takahaki got hurt, it's okay. Um, we did get a lot, of, a lot out of that fight. We also got to see kind of how fast the tail was, how laughter just pulled up and was like, let's go, I'm ready to go, I'm, who am I killing? Like she was she was ready to go and, we, and despite this fight happening partially because of the tail was, um, we at least now have backup one and two, we know that they they are all in on helping us. And even though it's going to be a little give and take right now, it kind of is what it is. We have, one way or another, they would have tried to go get Kudila either way. So it doesn't really matter. I think I, this would have happened. Um, so now that this is happening, they can at least prepare and know, hey, we have these people coming after us and we're going to have to be ready. So let's let's hop fucking to it. So great episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you know every time I post, I am Blooded Orphans. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Peace.